Introducing to you first, fighting tonight out of the red corner, he comes to the ring wearing black with orange and weighed in at eight stone, nine pounds. Coming to us from Glasgow, Scotland, he brings a professional record of 17 wins, three defeats with six of his wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Joe Hill. And his opponent across the ring fighting tonight out of the blue corner. He comes to the ring wearing black with red and weighed in the same as his opponent, eight stone, nine pounds. Hailing from Maidstone, Kent, England. He is undefeated with 13 wins. Seven of his 13 wins come by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the current WBO Youth and WBC International Silver Champion, Dennis the Menace McCann. Joe Dennis, just what you're about in the dressing room. Not what I expect. A lot of professionals at all times. Obey my instructions. Watch your heads and keep it going. Any questions? Let's go to work. So a week after Liam Davis became European Super Bantamweight Champion, Dennis McCann fights for the Commonwealth title in a division full of intriguing fights. It's England versus Scotland with Johan from Glasgow, McCann's opponent tonight. And McCann Ritchie is a fighter that Frank Warren had huge hopes for. This is a big night for him. Big night. He is an exciting fighter, isn't he, McCann? And uh, he's in a great division. We've seen Liam Davis win the European title last week, put in a great performance, and uh, obviously, Dennis McCann, he'll want a piece of the action. So, but there's all other good fighters in the division, Flex. You know, Shabazz Massoud is a cracking fighter, Andrew Kane from Liverpool, uh, Peter McGrail. There's so many good super bantams out there, but McCann is one of them. Dennis McCann in the black and red, the black and orange for Glasgow's Joe Ham. Dennis McCann unbeaten. Ham's won 17 of his 20 fights. There's a bit of sparkle about McCann's trunks tonight. He hopes there's a bit of sparkle about the performance as well. It's the first scheduled 12 rounder for both of these fighters tonight. It's certainly a step up uh, for McCann. He's, um, he's been eight rounds, what, five times now. Never done a 12 rounder. So a bit of a cautious start, a bit of a scouting mission early on from both boxers. Just having a look at each other's style. So, yes, a certain uh, step up for McCann here, definitely. Dennis McCann, the Southport, did his usual trick yesterday at the weigh in, gave a bag of Harry Bow to Joe Ham, who had a big smile on his face when he received them. Well, there is a feeling in certain quarters that he might be fighting Ham at a good time tonight, Dennis McCann, but we'll see whether that transpires in this one. Quick change as well for Alan Smith in the corner, who's gone from the colours. <laughs> Of uh, Pierce O'Leary to the Dennis McCann colours, and he puffed his cheeks out when he got into the ring. It's a busy night for the trainer of Dennis McCann, and he's got Sam Noakes up next as well in another Commonwealth title fight here at the O2. Fairly cautious start from Ham here. Just waiting on the outside. He knows that Dennis McCann can be aggressive. Pass going forward. So he's just uh, playing the waiting game and trying to catch McCann to come forward. You might just notice as well, the man in the cap ringside with the Derby County crest on the top, that's Zach Parker, who's top of the bill, but he's come out to watch this one, so he's clearly in the mood and nice and confident and nice and relaxed based on the big task he's got tonight to beat John Ryder in the top of the bill fight here at the O2. Scouting mission, though, here in the first. Not a great deal of action involving either of them. Dennis McCann looking to work behind that southpaw jab. You don't see that very often, to be quite honest. The, the top of the bill sitting there, <laughs> ringside, watching um, uh, someone else on the bill earlier on. Uh, so, yeah, that's quite rare, to be quite honest. Uh, the team must be very confident indeed, Zach Parker, just to relax. That's his way of just relaxing and dealing with those nerves. This has been a feeling out process for the pair of them in the first round, the vacant Commonwealth Super Bantamweight title between Dennis McCann and Joe Hamm. Interim Super Middleweight title that he's fighting for tonight against the uh, durable, impressive and difficult to beat John Ryder. Second round here then between uh, Dennis McCann in the black and red and Joe Hamm 
in the black and orange. Yeah, both boxers are certainly thinking about going the 12 rounds here. We're just um, conserving energy a little bit. We can't. I said Joe Ham was, was, was cautious, but it's been a cautious start also from uh, Dennis McCann. Maybe, you know, he's never been, as we say, past eight rounds, and you know, the Joe Ham. Um, tough, tough kid, and it could go 12, so he's just saving himself a little bit, but now he's starting to open up. Better shots from McCann. First real solid shots of the fight from Dennis McCann. He used to do a bit of labouring for his dad's roofing business as the 11-year-old. He's been around boxing since the age of five. And boxed the Commonwealth Games back in 2010. Tonight he's hoping to become the Commonwealth champion as a professional. Well, his first 14 pro fights, since then he's lost three of his last six. When you look at the record, it would suggest that he does have one or two issues when he steps up in grade, and you feel that he's doing that tonight against Dennis McCann. McCann tried to whip that left hook in there, just caught the gloves, it was defended well by Ham. But yeah, he's just trying to draw the, the lead from Joe Ham. That's why he's just waiting on the outside himself, then McCann just poking the jab, waiting for the reaction, and then he's. Uh, Coming back, what we call countering the counter. I'm waiting for Ham to counter him and then he'll counter that. So that's what he's doing. First and third boxing from McCann here. It's nice and sharp, McCann, when he does let the heavier punches go. Seven stoppages so far. It's his 14th fight tonight, unbeaten. Second round, McCann just looking to raise the tempo a little bit. It's been a cagey start, though, Richie, by both of them. Cagey start, just turning the screw slightly here, McCann. And just closing that gap occasionally and whipping that left up to get through the middle. And Joe Ham doesn't want to come over that front foot, knows he'll get countered. It's going to be difficult to, to win the contest from that position, Ham. And there's the bell to end the second round. The chance there's a man who took his chance last week, Liam Davis, the new European super bantamweight champion, enjoying tonight's boxing. And you wonder whether Dennis McCann against Liam Davis is a fight that's going to be made down the line. Why not? It would be a cracker, wouldn't it? But um, Liam Davis performed really well last week. He got his tactics um, spot on against. Um, in the Baluta of Romania. Great display. He's the man they're aiming at now. And McCann needs a good performance here. And who knows, the contest between him and Davis could be made, as you said, flex further down the line. Marcus McDonald, the referee, just had a word with Joe Ham about the way he's positioning his foot in the ring. It's often a problem, isn't it, that the battle of the front foot between the southpaw and the orthodox fighter? Yeah, because occasionally both boxers um, are just stepping on each other's foot, so and that's what the referee's just pointing out there. Don't step on your opponent's front foot, but it is a battle of those uh, front foot when the orthodox meets the southpaw. That can be a problem. Just a little bit more movement from McCann, so he's uh, just experimenting here and there now. Is McCann, but Ham just patient, sitting back, trying to catch McCann coming forward. And he probably needs a tempo change from both boxes here. He's got to liven up a bit still. Um, they're both still in second gear here. He's only fought three times in the last three years. He's lost two of those fights. McCann's trainer, Alan Smith, said he's dangerous. Describes the decision to take the fight as a calculated risk for his fighter tonight. Well, there was a bit of quality there earlier on. There was a lead right up a cut from McCann. That was a good shot indeed from him. Certainly surprised um, Ham. He wasn't expecting that punch. A good attack there from McCann. Nice 
Fascinating if you watch the two feet, the amount of times they tread on each other's toes. They can got that left hook into the body there. Well, for Ham, if, you, if you're not up close with that lead leg, that lead foot, if there's a bit of a gap between uh, the, the two feet and uh, whichever boxer leads first, he's going to fall short, and that's what the problem is there for Ham. Is there a cut? He's got blood on him. Um, yeah, is it from a nose, maybe? Not from his sure. nose? Yeah, there's a bit of blood on the face of Joe Ham. He took a decent jab in there as well. I think it might be the nose, Richie. He keeps popping that right jab through the guard as well, doesn't he? He keeps walking onto that, Joe Ham. First bit of damage inflicted here in the third round by Dennis McCann. He's got that menacing smile on his face, the man from Maidstone. And there's the bell. Let's have a look at this bit of work by Dennis McCann in the third, Richie. Yeah, there was that shot, lead uppercut. Caught Ham, Ham's not expecting that punch right to the, the guard of his opponent. That was a super punch, it really was. Good technique. Yeah, belting shot, that. Fourth round, scheduled for 12, making Commonwealth super bantamweight title. Ten years between them in age tonight, McCann's still only 21. Or rather, McCann's only 21. Ham grew up in the Gorbals in Glasgow, he's had seven more fights than Dennis McCann. The damage is to the nose, so nothing too serious at this stage for the Scotsman. He's got his dad, Joe Ham Senior, in the corner tonight. His message, Richie Well, who we were taking the break, is that he wants to try and get Dennis McCann to walk onto the uppercut. Yeah, I can see what they're doing, um, Ham. He, he's a bit flat-footed and he's just waiting on the outside and doesn't want to come over his front foot. You see, there, that was an example. Came over his front foot, he misses with the shot and then he gets caught with the counter. So that's what he's got to watch out for. But this is better work now from McCann going to the gears, Fletch. Really good work, nice and accurate, Dennis McCann. The first time he's really tried to open up tonight, came inside the opening minute of the fourth round. That's the sharpest and most dangerous work we've seen so far in the fight from Dennis McCann. See the, the jab from Ham, um, it's just it's not getting to the target, he's too far out. That's why he's just sitting back and trying to catch McCann coming forward. But McCann's speed and his accuracy, he's starting to um, tell now. This is better fr from McCann. He's the sharper man in there, McCann, up to now. He now knows as well that when he does go through the gears and starts to put the punches together, he can have success. Controlling things in there at the moment. It's a better shot from Ham, though. Came from a long way back. Yeah, nice little feint from McCann, but Ham carried on forward and catches him with that left hook. So we've seen a little bit more aggression for Ham. That's better from him now. He's getting through with a couple of shots. So he's been a little bit more positive on that front foot, Joe Ham. Before this round, Fletch, he was a little bit tentative, wasn't he, with, with his shots from on the outside. That was nice from McCann though, Richie. Nice combination. He just seems to have a little bit more variety, doesn't he? Look at that. Look at those for shots there. Very unorthodox thrown from different angles. He's got this real desire not to just be successful, but he wants to be a showman as well, Dennis McCann. He's got every punch in the book. He started to put them together a bit more impressively here in the fourth. And there's the bell to end it. He knows his stuff, Alan Smith. He reads it about very well. Fifth round then of 12. Super bantamweight title. The Commonwealth is on the line for these two tonight. Maidstone's Dennis McCann, Glasgow's. Joe Ham and the fourth round was just the first real indicator of the quality that Dennis McCann has when he starts to put those punches together. I think up to now McCann's controlled the pace very well and he's, he's picked um, his opportunities. 
very well indeed uh, going, going forward. Well, I think there were glimpses from Ham in that last round where he went on the front foot, he attacked a little bit more. Maybe he's got to double up his attacks and just change the tempo slightly, but gets caught there. His feet are far too slow. This is again good stuff from McCann. Dennis McCann starting to open up. Worrying moments here for Joe Ham. He's so accurate with those shots when he lets them go. Dennis McCann doesn't miss with many. And he's been very patient tonight, waiting for the right opportunity. And then he starts to throw those punches in bunches, and the majority of them are finding the target. Another lead, let their right uppercut from McCann at the end of that sequence there. Super punch again. We see Ham again just slowed down. His feet are very slow. There's no head movement. A bit of a sitting duck um, here. Uh, Fletch got to do something different again. McCann is starting to get to grips with this now, and he's turning the screw here. Yeah, McCann started to get a taste for it halfway through the fifth. Constantly popping out that right jab. Dennis McCann, sometimes it's a range finder, sometimes he wants it to be a scoring punch. That was a, a better chopping shot in return, though, wasn't it, from Ham? He hands up in the fleeting success here and there, Fletch. But again, I think the feet are a little bit too slow. He's trying to catch uh, McCann as he's coming forward. In that previous round, he had a little bit more success when he tried to push McCann back. But when he's just holding his feet the way he's doing, then he seems to be a, a sitting target for McCann. And continues to feel the blood trickling out of that damaged nose. <laughs> Dennis McCann's been the dominant fighter in there so far, moving towards the end of the fifth. Well, he's got faster hands, hasn't he? And his accuracy is better, McCann. And, and the pace of the contest is suiting him. That's why Ham's got to have a tempo change here. He's got to double up the attacks a little bit more and put him under a bit more pressure. That's better look right on cue, what Ham did there. Perfect illustration of the point that Richie Woodall was making. Right towards the end of the fifth round, some real success there for Joe Ham. And there's the bell. Well, vacant WBO interim super middleweight title on the line. That's the top of the bill tonight here at the O2. We're into the sixth round of 12 here, though, between Maidstone's Dennis McCann and uh, Joe Ham of Glasgow for the vacant Commonwealth super bantamweight title. Dennis McCann has been patient so far when he has let his hands go. He's had a fair deal of success. Been nice and accurate in there up to now. Again, a little bit of a cautious, a cautious approach uh, from McCann. Um, as I say, that, that was lightning quick, wasn't it? In and out, that was better from McCann. Ham had some success in that last round. You'd expect him to try and repeat that and push uh, McCann back. Always has a very confident look on his face, doesn't he? Dennis McCann, he's got a, a half smile. It'd be interesting to see what had happened, Richie, if he does manage to sustain one of these attacks for a little bit longer. Yeah, the problem you've got there is in the back of his mind, you've got that this could go the 12 rounds, and he's never been past eight rounds, McCann. Be on his mind. Joe Ham is a little bit more seasoned, isn't he, than McCann? But again, he's having a little bit of success, pushing McCann back. Good job by McCann, fighting from that south port stance. It's a red hot division, this one. In terms of Britain, regardless of the world, we've seen Liam Davis, ringside Bradley Strand, Andrew Kane, Brad Foster, Jason Cunningham, all Queensbury fighters 
in the division. It's ultra competitive. Lots and lots of great fights to be made out there. It's fascinating to see which of them's left standing when all said and done. Final 30 seconds of the sixth round. Quiet around again from McCann. So that's the end of the sixth round. Message in there, Richard. They just want to see a bit more work from Joe Ham. Now they put the punches together a little bit more than he is doing so far. And double up the attacks is what he's talking about. He's saying that the first attack's just falling short, but then you carry on again and, and, and go again straight away. So the first attack you might miss with the second attack you're going to score. Too many times Joe Hammer's just done the one attack and there he's got caught. But he needs to put more pressure on, that's what basically the corner's saying. Can try to sneak that left uppercut through. The Joe Hammer corner continued to shout instructions at him in terms of being on the front foot a little bit more. It's been a very measured and patient performance tonight, up to now from Dennis McCann, who's looked the better when he's put the punches together. He certainly had the accuracy and he's sharper, faster hands, Dennis McCann. See, the Joe Ham corner is saying for them to go forward, but there's a way of doing it, and his feet are far too slow at this stage. He's just allowing McCann just to, to wait for the attacks to be launched and just to throw in the shots. He's holding centre ring of uh, McCann also, so he's fairly comfortable in his ring position. Got full range of movement around him. Ham's just got to be a little bit more dynamic with his feet a little bit more. He's got to be quicker, double up the jab, double up the attack, and put a little bit more sustained pressure on McCann and maybe force him back onto the ropes. Rarely do you see McCann go back to the ropes. Well schooled, stays in the centre. You've got to disrupt that rhythm. That's what Ham's got to do. Putting the punches together again. Yes, better round again um, here for, for McCann. I'm just getting picked off here. Yes, that's good work for McCann. Very quick indeed. Final 45 seconds of the seventh round. Dennis McCann got that right hook in and then threw a couple of left hands straight off the back of it. Not a great deal that Joe Ham can do about it when he throws those punches at the speed he does. He's just working at a, a too slow a tempo here, Fletch, is Joe Ham. And um, he's probably doing the opposite of what his corner wanted. They want him to go on the front foot and force the pace, but it's easier said than done. And McCann now, this is a decent round uh, for McCann. He's been able to pick Joe Ham off pretty much at will in this round, the seventh of 12. Decent right uppercut, right on the bell as well from Dennis McCann. Good round here for McCann. There's that lead uppercut again. Worked, uh, that was right on the bell. Worked to his uh, his own pace there and rhythm, and it was a good round, a dominant round for McCann. Now they come for the eighth then. This one's scheduled for 12. Next up tonight, Sam Notes against Calvin McCord for the Commonwealth Lightweight and WBC Silver International title. Then we've got Hamza Shiraz up against River wilson Bent. Then the top of the bill tonight, Zach Parker against John Ryder. That's getting close in there. Come on, Steve. Dennis. It was interesting between rounds, Richie. Alan Smith, I think, is quite happy for Dennis McCann just to systematically try and break Joe Ham down. Is that because there's the spectre of 12 rounds for the first time and they want to make sure that he conserves the energy and sees it through? I think so, yes. And they're fairly um, 
confident and, and they're fairly pleased in, in what McCann's doing at the moment. And yeah, they do realise that they may have to go 12 rounds, but it's, it's the way he, he, he does it. He doesn't want him to, to give away silly punches, uh, get into a situation where he's toe to toe and a lot of bent arm work. Although that was a, a better shot there from McCann. He's controlling things very well at this stage, is McCann. And I think Alan Smith will be pleased with that. He's controlling the pace and the rhythm of the contest. He's, you know, he's uh, hitting his opponent now with almost everything now, Flex. So this is going well for McCann at this stage. Well, this attack started off with a decent right hand from Dennis McCann. Continues to find it difficult, Joe Ham, to put a sequence of punches together. Felt the full force of that one as well. It's just forced him back and made him take that backward step. McCann might now fancy just quickening things up a little bit. Bad position to be as well on the ropes there. But Ham coming back with the odd shot, trying to keep those hands alive. And what a rough cut that was. Yeah, body shot set his up. Look up through the guard. Dennis McCann trying to turn on the style. Dennis McCann landed with shot after shot. Full credit to Joe Ham, though, for standing there and taking it. Yes, McCann went through the gears there, went for the stoppage. Really good shots. body shot, really good body shot from McCann. Mixing up to head and body now. Uppercut again from McCann. Caught in flush. Worrying moments here for Ham, and it's waved off. Marcus McDonald stops the fight. And Dennis McCann is the new Commonwealth Super Bantamweight title. And when he went through the gears, there was no answer from Joe Ham. Yeah, that was superb, wasn't it? The lead uppercut in those combinations were excellent um, from Dennis McCann. Two or three of them that got through the guard um, of Ham, who tried to block the shots, sitting on the ropes, coming back with the odd shot himself. But the quality and the accuracy from McCann was very, very impressive indeed there. Good stoppage, Richie. Yeah, absolutely. The referee got that, I thought, spot on. Not a lot coming back from Joe Ham, and uh, he saved the boxer there because I think it was just more of the same that was going to follow. Tough kid, Joe Ham, but the stoppage came at the right time. Good punches. Look at that for a lead uppercut. That was a superb punch, it really was. After he'd landed a couple to, to the body, kept the attack going, sustaining the pressure, knows that the, the, he's close to stopping the opponent. The referee's having a good look here. Ham gets through it, but here now gets caught with a couple of good shots. That's a good shot. A short right hook on the inside there. The referee had seen enough, and that was a good, I thought, decision there by the referee. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the official time. Two minutes, 28 seconds of round number eight. Our referee in charge, Marcus McDonald, stops the contest. Therefore, your winner by way of technical knockout Still undefeated, and now the Commonwealth Super Bantamweight Champion, Dennis the Menace McCann. Well, Dennis McCann is flash and he's brash, he's unbeaten, and he's now the Commonwealth Super Bantamweight Champion. And when he went through the gears in the eighth round, he was menacing as well. Good night for Dennis McCann.